Hello everyone, this is going to be a horoscope for the sign of Aquarius for the full moon happening today in the sign of Leo. Uh, I advise you to watch the video both for your sun sign and for your rising sign to get the full picture of what you can expect around this time. So Aquarius, the full moon is happening in your seventh house. It's uh, the house of close relationships. So it could be um, about your marriage. It could be about a close business uh, partnership, right? If you have, for example, a business that you share with someone else. Or it could even be a best friend. Best friends are also um, shown by the seventh house. In any case, with the full moon happening there uh, in Leo, I think that um, an ending is coming to, to you um, with some sort of partnership, Aquarius, and it's going to be quite dramatic, this ending, like don't, don't expect it to go away, <laughs> uh, very easily, um, this full moon is making, um, a tense aspect to Saturn, uh, in your first house, and you've also got Mercury there making a tense set, uh, aspect to, uh, Uranus in your fourth house, I think that, um, Aquarius, you've been feeling restricted by whatever this, uh, you know, close relationship of yours has been. You've been feeling restricted, you've been feeling pressured, and I think that around this time you're going to explode. Mercury, you know, making a square there to Uranus, you might be saying some things that are going to hurt, especially uh uh, it's going to have a direct impact on uh, either a family member or um, somebody you live with. It could even be with uh, a roommate, right? If you have a roommate or, you know, as I said, if you have a spouse, um, you're going to be, as I said, uh, you're in the danger here of saying something that's going to hurt this person. And uh, it's going to bring this relationship with them to um, some sort of fallout, right? Um, yeah, so be mindful of that, right? If you don't want that to happen, just be mindful of that. Um, you do have three planets here in the 12th house. For some of you, you know, you could be breaking up with someone because you have someone else in the works. Just being honest here, you could be a bit of a cheater, <laughs> Aquarius. Um, you do have, um, because the 12th house is a house that is hidden. It's possible that some of you might have hidden lovers and that's why you decide to end this uh, relationship that you, you know, your official relationship, so to, so to say. Um, whatever the case, uh, this is going to affect your uh, living um, uh, environments. You've got Uranus there transiting and making a long transit through your fourth house. I think that uh, within the next couple of years, um, you you are not going to have stability in terms of your whereabouts, where where you live. It's possible that you are going to be going to through a period of uh, moving a lot. Um, but it's something that um, I wouldn't say is necessarily bad. It is making a nice aspect there to the, um, uh, the three planets in your 12th house. So it's possible that you might decide to move in with your new lover, right? Or for whatever reason, you know, if you don't have another lover, it could be that a new house is going to be available for you. And it's house that it's really nice and you wouldn't have expected to find such a nice house um, such a new nice house. So uh, it, it, it's not uh, something that is going to, let's say, affect you too much. You also have Jupiter there uh, in your second house making a long transit. Um, and um, that is uh, something that's going to bring you some good financial rewards, you know. Uh, so I do think that you're going to be able to afford this house. Uh, this new house that you're moving in. So if you're, you know, leaving behind a living accommodation with, let's say, a roommate, I do think that you're going to be able to afford um, a new place to live. So um, it, it's not going to be, um, you know, bad for you, Aquarius, especially, you know, for those of you who have been feeling, you know, restricted, as I said, and um, in, in a marriage, in a partnership, and, and um, you know, you were feeling suffocated. I do think that this is going to be a period that uh, is going to uh, let you breathe more and you're going to feel 
uh, more free and um, but um, there are still going to be some sort of uh, restrictions coming from um, your um, previous um, accommodation or relationship is possible that maybe you have a contract there you're still going to have to pay for a while for that even though you're moving out you know there there are going to be some uh, sort of uh, limitations because you do have uh, saturn uh, making a long transit through your first house so you should expect some you know um, hardships uh, because of that but as I said, um, you you have a Jupiter in your second house. You've got the Sun about to move through uh, your second house as well. I do think that the next period is going to be very good for you financially. All right. So that was it. That was your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Uh, if it did, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you'd like to watch more of my videos in the future. Uh, don't forget to watch the video also for your rising sign to get a better understanding of what's ahead. I wish you the best and I'll see you again in my next videos. Bye for now.